YouTube, this is Mr. Goat reporting, and this is my dad's collection of gold coins. I'll start with the gold bars. This is from Perth Mint. It is 99.99% .99 pure gold. It is one ounce, again from Perth Mint. It has a unique design of kangaroos. Pretty cool. I've got two of those, as you can see, and I've got a different one here from OPM Metals. It's again one ounce, and it but is .9999 fine gold. On the back. It has a unique pattern of O's, or the company symbol. Now, off to the coins. First up, I've got three of these. It is very large. It is the Philharmonic. It's 37 millimeters. And it has a cool design of uh, an orchestra, a French horn, a violins, a bass, more violins, a harp, a bassoon. That's pretty cool. And on the back is a building of the Great Hall, Great Concert Hall excuse me, of Austria. This is 999.9 gold, fine gold. It is from 1993, this, co this coin specifically. It's cool. And I've got three of those, very large. I'll show you the comparison of a maple leaf and uh, Philharmonic is pretty quite big. And next up is the maple leaf. It has a maple Canadian maple leaf. As you can see, it is 2015 by the little maple leaf in the bottom uh, right corner. It is Four nines, nine, 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 fine gold. And on the back is Queen Elizabeth II, 2015. I've got also a 1992 version of the coin, but it is different because uh, Queen Elizabeth's face is different. She has the crown in the 1992 version and in the 2015 she doesn't. But but the but the leaves are the same. The only difference on the on the front is the little maple leaf on the bottom right corner. Next, I've got the one and only goat. I like this goat. It has it has pretty high premium. It is shiny as you can see. It also has Queen Elizabeth. It is from Australia. 2015 and four nines, nine 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 of one ounce gold. Again, the goat. Next, I have the American Eagle. This is 2002. This is a good symbol, I think, of representing the, Uni the United States. Good. Here, United States of America, it has an eagle and a nest, 
two eagles, sorry, and a nest, and it is one ounce of fine gold. Next up is the dragon. It's from the year of the dragon. It's very small, as you can see. It is one tenth of an ounce. This is the 2012 version, and this is four nines, nine, 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 nine of gold. I like the strange and unique dragon design. Next up is the Mexican Cinco Pesos coin. It is point twelve of an ounce. It is this is the nineteen twenty version. It's small. It's slightly bigger than the dragon because the dragon is point tenth a tenth of an ounce and this is point twelve. And so this one is Estados Unidos Mexicanos, which means United States of Mexico. But and that's the formal name, but we all know it as Mexico. It has an eagle on the back that caught a snake. And I forgot to mention on the front, the front, the guy's face is Hidalgo, Hidalgo, which is the, is the man who declared the independence of Mexico. I like this coin. So, this is the collection of my, this is my dad's collection. And some of you guys might be wondering, well, how does it feel to have gold? Well, I think it, it feels good to have some gold, but you have to understand that it is, it's a long-term investment. So the, so the coin will maintain its value. It, it might fluctuate a little, but it'll always it, um, stay, maintain the same value within the range of uh, when you bought the coin. So guys, I'm going to wrap up this video with, say, with saying thanks for spending your time, to, taking some time to watch this video. And I'll keep you guys, I'll keep up with the videos because I couldn't I couldn't find my other well my dad's other coins so I'm gonna make this is part one and I'm gonna make a part two so please comment below and subscribe and see you guys next time Mr. Goat signing out